It'll be here, and then we'll go to seated leg curl. Seated leg curl. And you're gonna lunge down very, just like more of a stretch lunge than thinking uh -huh. about getting a pump. Just yep. range out as long as you can. And then we're gonna go off that wedge, and you're gonna go to the bottom and come out of the bottom range. Straight. Oh. Just to get you really deep and like get you opened up. This is all straight away. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you Not know, heavy though. Just nice and relaxed. I've, I've been. I've, Oh, I got no words actually. I've been scared of this session for the past few days. Oh, I'll be scared. It's easy. It's easy. Yeah, we're just under six weeks out right now, so I'm fucking dying all day. <laughs> I literally have naps now because my body is like tired after like midday, so I'm actually like having naps because my coach decreased calories yeah. and uh, up cardio for the past like three, four days. Where are your calories at? At the moment, 2,400. That's suffering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Considering I started on 4,000. Oh yeah, it's, it's, I wasn't joking, that's suffering. Yeah, it really is. Okay, so what I want you to think to do, when you start the movement, I want you to think pressure on your shin. Yep. Leave your foot dead. So oh, don't have yeah, your foot caught. a little bit. Yeah, just keep your foot dead. Yeah, and think more shin pressure, yep. not lifting yourself out of that seat. So stay in that seat and think when you come up, so let your leg fall out and roll your leg in and extend. Yeah, so send that uh, contraction up through. So we don't have stressing on the knee, we just roll through. So roll those knees together flex through perfect i understand yeah really reach under you already out squeeze the outside yeah. as well send that thing up to the top yeah so converge those knees so it flops open converge those knees hard sit down hard when you kick yeah cool. so i want you to post up leave this out there for a sec yeah leave it just hanging so post your hands on here and keep yourself up high so push against here chest up tall yep so i want you to take this off an inch the so toes up on this one Toes up, yeah. up yeah. take this down an inch. Catch on your hamstring now. So as you go to curl, you're gonna lift yourself up by pulling down on here. So drive up through, control, yeah, no speed. Yeah, so you arch, squeeze up. Yeah. So constant motion, squeeze up now. Yeah, up. Keep moving with it. So push against here and keep yourself up tall. Yeah, and lift that chest. Almost like you're launching that way. Yeah, so really grab that hamstring. Squish my hand all the time. Pressure into this pad. Yeah, good. So you're gonna stand on here. You're gonna hold this like a baby. So just keep your, keep it sitting on your forearms. Nice Before you said body weight. No, no. <laughs> so you're gonna be here. I want you to sink to the bottom and get used to it. So I'm, my elbows are on my knees basically. Yep. And bounce out of here. Just sit on those feet here. So let those knees open a bit. Good. Stay forward on your weight. Yeah. Go. Full range. Just sink down smooth. So you're sitting yourself down. It's not. You're not just dropping. Yeah. Let that knee push forward and spread apart. There you go. I'm glad I got my pre-workout today. <laughs> I've, I've actually got a scoop and a half, which I never ever do. There you go. Uh, the elite. The ultra, but a scoop and a half of the ultra. You usually have like a full scoop of the, the elite. I'm like half a scoop of ultra, yeah. considering I have like an energy drink in the day. So I want to keep my caffeine down, so I'm not like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Five and a half now. Five and a half. Yeah. But this is it. This is what separates the boys and the men. Second place and first place, isn't it? Let's fucking do it. So when I take off, I want to feel when I stand here. Yep. I want to feel that back pad on my back. I yeah. don't want it to be up in my ears here. Yep. I want to be in it and have it feel like a bar. Low it's bar. Like a low bar squat, right? Yeah. I think big chest through here. Yep. Good. So we're standing up tall now. Yep. Good. Ease this hip back. Let the body fold. Yeah. You got even two more inches. Two more? You got a lot more. 
There you go. Knees back, flat back. Yeah. Just how you sat with that plate. It's the same thing you're sitting here. Yep. <laughs> so think like how you see bodybuilders in front relaxed, right? You don't do that obviously, but like that same kind of feeling where your crack knee a bit and my quads flare. This is the same thing I'm falling into here. Look. Good. And think about just sitting down. Yeah. Drive up. Yeah. So when I tap you, you're gonna drop again. Drop. Yeah, get that depth. Let that knee move where it wants to. Yes. Yeah. Drive. So not so low you lose it, not so high you lose it. Up. Down. Yeah, control tension the whole time. So no explosion. Yeah. Up, down, right away. Yeah, down, yeah, keep that knee. Yeah, two, tight here. One. Really good one. Last few were really good. It's just finding that, that pace, right? Where you can keep it on that quad. Because it, it takes a lot more, right? And it takes a lot more out of you to, can, for you to control your full ranges, right? And then to control shorter ranges, as opposed to just like, I could tell you to go here and just fucking rah, 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 and you rah, 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 there and you'll be out of breath. But it's like, we want muscular failure or fatigue. We don't want this like, exactly. just uncensored nervously, I'm fucked. I'm just doing all kinds of shit and I feel weird, right? Like, I'd rather you walk out of here and your legs be buckling because your muscles are fucking freaking out than to be like, feeling like yeah. you just got hit by a bus, right? It's definitely that case. It does take your cardiovascular system to be tested to reach when you're reaching endurance like that through muscle muscular control. Yeah. A lot of bodybuilders don't get to like you have to you have to tax your metabolism. You have to get your metabolism revving. Yeah. You have to get things to move. And you have to work cardiovascularly at some capacity that's a little difficult in yeah. order to like recruit muscle fiber, right? You feel it too because it's so easy on prep to like be cold all the time. You know, sometimes now I'll do cardio and for the first 20 minutes, unless I'm walking on like a serious incline at a good speed, I won't even sweat because my metabolism's not going. Like, my, my body is becoming more physically fit and with less body fat, it's just taken a while or longer to burn the same amount of calories doing the same thing to, to wake your body up. You have to do more. Otherwise you'll just, because your body don't want to change, it will do everything it can in its power to stay the way it is because you breach into the realm of unhealthy around six weeks out because your body goes into like survival mode. It holds onto the food it eats and it doesn't want to do what, it, do what it's doing. Hence why like workouts fuck you up so much <laughs> because your body's like, I don't want to do this, but it has to, you know, so. Do it. Oh. It's controlled as the two was, same as this. Nothing changes. <sighs> so those arms stay up. <clears throat> you got it. <clears throat> Yeah. Get lower. There you go. Don't let that background sit down where you feel comfortable. Stand up. There you go. Let those feet do the work. Stand on them. Stand up on them. Yeah. Chest out. Big up. Big chest. Big chest. Yeah. Two more. Yeah. Yeah. One. Bend that knee sooner. There you go. Yeah. Good. Back. As you get looser, you go for a little more depth, but don't force it. Wherever you feel it catch, you stand up. Yep. Yep. Yeah, man. Big those feet in. Push off this edge. More than any other part of that foot. Yeah, keep the outside oh. pressure. Outside ah. pressure. Outside here, outside here. Two more. One more. Good, man. Take a big break. We're going again. Oh yeah. One more. Like every power you want to stop, especially when you're not used to this kind of intensity. 
I mean, you can try and hit your own workouts with intensity as much as you've got, but when you've got someone over you telling you and you have that pressure, it's like a necessary pressure, right? Because it's like, imagine if your coach or your girlfriend or whoever you're competing for, hell, imagine if yourself was standing over yourself. How would you train? This is how you train. And it's hard to go there all the time. My knees are on fire, like my legs are on fire right now. I could be watching someone else do this, or I could do it myself. Somebody has to do it. So why not you? One sec. See your breath. Dig that ass into this pad. So that flat back ass digs into it. So you sit down your butt till it, till it the sled drop. Quick that knee open. There you go. Quad all the way up. Mm -hmm. Quad. Yeah. Mm. A little lower. There you go. Stand on those feet. Stay strong on them. Oh. Yeah, two's good. Squeeze. Mm. Good. Stay up there, breathe. Go. Control, control, yep. Flex those quads. Push that knee down and squeeze that quad. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Come on, man. Two more. Squeeze. Ah. Good. Stay up there. Big breath. Four reps on these. A little quicker tempo. Yeah. All the way up. All the way down. Don't speed up too much. Get a good tempo. Up. Good. Let's move. Two. Three, keep pumping. Four, make that quad work. Come on. Four and you're done. One. Yeah. Two. Breathe. One more. Good now. Good. Take a big break. Fuck me. Oh my back. I just find that when I come to the bathroom, cold water sometimes is a nice change to pre-workout. Gives me a rest. I can't sit down. One sec. No worries. Fucking hell. Look at these veins, man. Is that a pump? You know, I've never in my life had veins like this on my legs. Never. My last prep, one week out, two weeks out, I never got this. Not in the gym anyway. I can only imagine after like, three and a half weeks now of pushing for condition and then a week of carbon up. There's gonna be like condition, but more, more vascularity just because of the actual carbs that are gonna be fueling the system, right? It's over when it's over. <laughs> Whatever gauge you've had from like preps before, when you find a way to like go somewhere else and push further than you have like from previous preps, you realize like, oh shit, that's what it takes to actually, you know, wanna be a pro, right? Not just going to the gym and having a fucking jolly old time. Right here. So we're going to shorten the range a lot on this and you're going to get up and you're going to lunge after. Yes. We're just going to flood muscle blood in there without overdoing it anymore. <sighs> Hard work done. So let's turn these in, that one. Good. Slide up a tiny bit higher. No, take it, so lock it out. There you go. Yeah. I think that knee is just going to come to about here. So wider knee up. Yeah. Just keep in that pumping range where you can control it. Okay. Think quad flexing. So put up a little higher, come down not as deep. There you go. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Four. One. Two. Three. One more. Good, man. Get it over here. There you go. Just drop. There you go. Feel that quad and everything working. Burn all of it. Everything you got out left in there. Just burn out everything in there. Squeeze up. Yeah. First off, I want to say thanks again to Mike for taking me through the workout you know pushing me to a place on this prep that i wouldn't be able to go myself so really appreciate mike for taking the time to put me through the workout initial thoughts are 
fuck it out and never again. But I would like to get a couple more sessions in with him before we go back to the UK because we're in Canada now for another four weeks before we go back for two weeks out for the first show, the regional qualifier in the UK. So all the work we do now at Pure Muscle and Fitness around the HD Muscle team, around Mike, is what we will showcase on stage, which is why everything now matters so much. Man, I started to get emotional. Oh. No, not yet. Okay, it subsided. Oh, I just want it. I want it really bad, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, where did that come from? Holy fuck. You know when you're vulnerable on prep when it starts to come out of nowhere. All right, so should we end it? We end it. All right, so that was my six weeks out leg workout with Mike Van Wick. Mate, the fucking, Mike's like the John Wick of the fitness industry. <laughs> He'll come out of nowhere and kill you. <laughs> but guys, if you enjoyed it, smash the like, comment, let us know what you want to see next, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.